Praise God. Welcome, everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. Yeah. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. So, praise God. We always tell you we want to welcome all those of you that are joining us by audio or a video. And uh, we just want to say, get ready, get Amen. ready, get ready. Amen. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Prepare yourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God has something great for you. Amen. Yes. Always, always, always. You know, he has great things for us and we need to be ready and we need to partake. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Uh, he gave me a great message. So Amen. get ready. Amen. Above all. That's the name of it. Just above all. <laughs> He's above all. Amen. And we're going to see some things that he is above all. We need to start believing what the word of God says. You know, yeah. when you get in the word of God. Gets you all excited. Amen. Amen. When you get excited, you're going somewhere to happen for him. Amen. And uh, devils run <laughs> when they see you coming. Amen. So praise God. So here we go. Prepare yourselves to receive. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. Amen. Praise God. And he, you know, don't leave as you came. Live okay. change. Wherever you happen to go, leave a new person. Leave a different person. Amen. So. Before we go any further, grab your Bibles. Let's say it like we mean it, church. Amen. I know I do. It says, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do it. I can do it all the things. Excuse me. Let's start all over again. <laughs> this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking with God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. And so, hey, praise God. I'm, I'm so excited. My tongue's going faster than what I'm. <laughs> no words coming out. So, praise God. Anyway, you want the book with all the answers? It's right here. The Word of God. Amen. I don't know what you're tuning into, but you got to tune out of that and tune into what the Word of God says. Amen. Dust the cover off of it, get it out, and start reading it. Amen. We got, we, the first thing, you sang a wonderful songs a few minutes ago, and one of them is Above All. Amen. And we're going to read that in a few minutes. Not only that, but they also sang a song I've been singing all, all week. And this is, we need Jesus now more than ever. Amen. Amen. Yeah. We need him now more than ever. Yeah. You know, if you get all uh, concerned about what's going on out there, and you just, you're going to be all uh, nerved up. Amen. What do I do? What's going on? And you know, you're going to be lost. And you're yeah. going to be confused. Yeah. And you're going to be sick. Uh -huh. Amen. And you're going to be a Christian. Huh. And I know what to do. Because yeah. you're not in the Word. Mm -hmm. Get in the Word of God. Yeah. And you know yeah. what to do. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. With that, let me say this. We need Jesus now more than ever. Yeah. Jesus now more than ever. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. He, you know, the Bible tells us all the things he did. Yes. And if his word is the truth, we need to get in the word so uh -huh. it can set us yeah. free. Yeah. The truth sets us free. Yeah. Amen. So whatever bogging you down, you know, just get in the word and let it set you free. Amen. You know, you're still there because you're not doing something about it. Uh -huh. Jesus says, I've done what I what I have to do. I'm finished. Now it's up to us to take yeah. his word and our, our mission and fulfill what the mission, uh, whatever mission he gave us to do. Yeah. Amen. But he healed a blind man. He walked on the waters. Uh -huh. He raised Jairus' daughter. Yeah. He fed the hungry. Amen. He cleansed the leper. Hallelujah. They said, don't touch the leper. Jesus uh -huh. wouldn't touch them. He said, be healed. Yeah. yeah. Amen. He has no favorite people. You That's are right. his this person. Yes. Amen. So don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Yeah. Amen. He didn't put you here for no reason. He put you here for an awesome reason. Amen. Mm -hmm. All his children. All his children said, well, let me see. The chorus goes like this. says, Jesus now more than ever. Mm -hmm. We are sailing through stormy weathers. Oh, boy. <laughs> can, can, can you, can you, can you uh, yeah. vouch for that? Yeah. Yeah. We're going through stormy weathers right now. Amen. So yeah. what do I need? <laughs> You don't need the booze and you don't need the drugs. You need Jesus now Amen. more than ever before. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So if you don't have Jesus in your heart right now, guess what? Uh -huh. It's time to just say, Lord Jesus, I need you now more than ever. Yeah. And he ain't going to turn you down. No. 
Yeah. You're just going to come in. Yeah. And then, but see, you have a door. And you have to open that door when he's knocking mm -hmm. and open it up and say, Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord yeah. and save me. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Come on in. And guess what? He's going to come in. It says, Jesus, now more than ever. We're sailing in stormy weathers. Yeah. It says, all his children should get together. Uh -huh. For we need Jesus now more than ever. More than ever. Amen. So we're not to panic. <laughs> Amen. He didn't say right. to panic. He says, trust me. Yeah. Have faith yeah. in me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. In many, 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 many scriptures, he says, I am. And one of the I am says, he says, I am the only way to the Father. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. So if you try to find another way to get there, you ain't going to find another way. <laughs> I am the way yeah. to the Father. And those are capital letters there. You know, I am. I am. Amen. And he's the only way to the Father. So guess what? If you want to go to heaven, that's the only way. Let's go through Jesus. Lord Jesus, Amen. come be my Lord and Savior. Yeah. Amen. And he will. So praise God. Woo. Praise God. Lord. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but just let it rub off on you. <laughs> Amen. That's just one of the songs we sung. Another song we sung was this. Above all. Okay, let me get into the word, and then we're going to talk about it. Above all. Above all things. God says, I am above all things. He is what? The great I am. Yes. I am above all things. So what have you been putting up over him? What do you have sitting on the throne of your life? I mean, if you're there, get off. <laughs> if you have whatever you have sitting there, get off. Uh -huh. Take it off yeah. and put Jesus on there. Yeah. Right? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Ooh, come on now. <laughs> so I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but That's it says, okay. above all things, and the song goes like this, and you've you've read it before, and you've sang it before. It says, above all, all powers. Mm -hmm. The Bible says we don't fight flesh and blood. That's right. We fight spiritual battles. Uh -huh. Amen. And if you're not, if you're not in the Word of God, guess what? You lose. Mm -hmm. So part-time Christian, it's time for you to get active yeah. and be a full-time Christian. Amen. Okay. Amen. He don't just like weekend visits. <laughs> he wants full time visits. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> he wants full custody. Thank you. <laughs> uh, don't mind. I'm not going to say what I'm going to say. <laughs> He's above all powers. Amen. You know, the world puts scares on you, you know, and, and tell you about what's going on and, 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 and all the powers of this and all the powers of that. But he says, I'm above all powers. Yes. He says, I'm above all kings. Yes. Amen. I'm above all nature. Amen. I'm above all created beings. Yes. I'm above all wisdom and all the ways of men. So he's above all these things. And then he says, you were here. Even He says, you were here before the world began. Mm -hmm. He's above all these powers. Mm -hmm. Praise God. He was here before the world began. Above all kingdoms, above all thrones. Yeah. Above all the wonders the world has ever known. Yeah. Above all wealth. Yeah. You know, you got to get your heart on him. Uh -huh. Amen. Not only your mind, you got to get your spirit and your heart on yeah. him. Amen. Because he's above all these things. Yeah. No matter what you're seeking. You know, if you seek him first, uh -huh. you can have all these other things. He said if you seek the kingdom of God first, then you can have all these other things. Yeah. But first him. Put him first and keep him on the throne. Amen. Amen. The world is ever known above wealth, above the treasures of the earth. There's no way, there's no way to measure what you're worth. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. He is above all. Man, that's a beautiful song. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's above all. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited. I don't know about you. <laughs> when I finish, there's more for that. <laughs> Amen. Let me see. Here we go. Above all. Go to the next one. Because God is above all. All things, Psalms 95 and 3. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I don't know what's coming your way, mm -hmm. but guess what? He's above all these things. Mm -hmm. And we've talked about this. God is bigger. Matter of fact, okay. Because mm -hmm. God is bigger than your past, your fears, your sickness, your depression, your pain. We just went through this last week. Your hate, your anger, your doubt, your lack, or your shame. He is bigger. No matter what the world brings, yes. God is bigger yes, than is. any mountain 
that might come against you. Any storm that come against you. Amen. So we just got to get it right. Amen. Let Jesus come into your heart. Amen. Because God is bigger than any world, any mountain, or anything coming against you. And now we can magnify him and not the problem. Because we're winners. We're champions in magnifying problems. Oh, man. And you think you got problems. Let me tell you mine. Amen. And you get amongst the people and you start magnifying the problems you have. Instead of magnifying, you know what? <laughs> My God is bigger. Yeah. I've told you this before, but when David came and the uh, Egyptians, Philistines, and, 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 and the Israelis are fighting, and they're fighting Goliath, is out there scaring our whole army of God, our whole army of Israel. David came and started speaking about the about God. Because they weren't even talking about God. Yes, and that's what the world's doing right now. All they're doing is magnifying a coronavirus. Oh. You know? They're magnifying the problem instead of magnifying our God. Yeah. We got to get God back into our world. Yeah, amen. Amen. It says, if my people, which yeah. are called by my name, we need to pray. Yeah. Amen? Don't be sad. Don't be confused. Don't be uh, mad. Just mm -hmm. pray. Amen? Yeah. And don't talk the problem. Talk about God. Yeah. Amen? And pray. Yeah. He's bigger. Magnifying him and not the care, not the problem, not the trouble, not the sickness, not the situation. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ. Yes, yes, all yes. things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. So child of God, soldier of God, all you need to do is spend time with him, get all uh, strengthened up in him and then step out and yes. press on with the things of God. Amen. Ooh. Come on now. Amen. <laughs> One more. I'm excited. Jesus, may we bow what? Every, Every name. name. Let's read that scripture. One more time. Here it is. Therefore God had highly exalted him uh -huh. and bestowed on him the name that is what? Above, Above every Every name. name. So that at the name of Jesus, what? Every knee should, should bow in, in heaven, on the earth, uh -huh. under and the under the earth. earth. And every tongue that confesses that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen. Let, you know what? Let me read it to you from the Amplified. Grab your Bibles. Open your Bibles. <clears throat> we can't have church without opening the Bible. Amen. Lord God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Go to Philippians. Are you there? Philippians 2, 9 and 11. I don't know about yours. Mine is highlighted. Huh. Highlight the scriptures, you know. <laughs> Personalize your scriptures, you know. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to read it to you from 2 verses 9 through 11. Amplified. Therefore, because he stooped so low, God has highly exalted him and has freely bestowed upon him the name that is about every name, mm -hmm. that in, at the name of Jesus every knee sh should must bow in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. And verse 11 says, And every tongue frankly and openly confess and acknowledge that uh -huh. Jesus Christ is Lord, Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so Amen. praise God. Amen. Everything. You know, if you ain't bound to him now, you will. <laughs> You will. Yeah. It's going to come a time when you will bow down. Every knee is going to bow. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <clears throat> Amen. All right. You will always have problems in this world or in this life. Yes. But they must not become your focus. You must not just magnify mm -hmm. the problem. Amen. Jesus is the one you magnify. Yes. Amen. Magnify God and not the problem. When you feel yourself sinking in the sea of all these circumstances coming at you, causes of anxieties and uh, cares, concerns, fears, panic and problems and troubles, this is what you hear the most. Mm. Amen. You turn the TV on, you, you read it, papers, uh, magazines, all over the place. It's nothing but worries, anxieties, yeah, fears, right. fears, 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 all these things. Nothing about faith, you know. If you don't build yourself in the Word of God, your faith is weak. Mm -hmm. But we walk by faith and not by sight. Uh -huh. We walk by faith and not by fear. Yes. Amen. But we got to feed ourselves. as spirit, man. We got to feed our spirit the word of God. Amen. Yes. And, and get the fears out. Amen. Say, hey, I'm standing on God. 
My roots are in Christ. My roots are in him. Amen. So yeah. I'm stepping out in faith. Amen. Praise God. Yeah, thank Hallelujah. You. Philippians, go, go next one. Oh, here, here's the song. I was saying, I was reading to you a few minutes ago. So let's go ahead. Above all. One more. Okay, just leave it right there. Before that, I want to read to you uh, Philippians 4, 6 through 8 in the NIV. It says, be anxious for what? Nothing. nothing. <laughs> be anxious about nothing. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all the understandings, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Finally, brothers, it says, finally, <laughs> uh -huh. what do I think about? Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is true, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything, if in anything is excellent and or praiseworthy, think about such things. Amen. Yeah. That's yeah. what you want to think on. Let's read it from the uh, uh, that's the uh, NIV. Let's read it from the King James, Philippians four, six, uh, six through eight. Philippians. You're going back to the book of, of Philippians. <laughs> All right. I like that. Philippians 4, and verses 6 through 8. Amen. But be careful for nothing. nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. You know? Amen. He can do something about it. You don't yeah. have to go and gossip to somebody else. Right. <laughs> don't join the gossip group. Uh -huh. <laughs> Take it to God. Let your request yeah. be made known to God. Amen. Yeah. He can do something about it. Yeah. Don't bring it to people that's got bigger problems than you do. Oh, Amen. It says, Simon says, And the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And it says, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, Whatever things are honest, whatever things are, are just, whatever things are pure, and whatever things are lovely, and whatever things are of good report. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, praise think on these things. Amen. Amen. So fill yourself and think on the things of, of the Word of God. Amen. Because if you, you fill yourself with, with this negative world, guess what? You're going to be hurting. Yeah. Amen. So you don't want to do that. Amen. You don't want to take on the world. You want to take on what the word of God says. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, call on me and I'll be there. <laughs> you know, he had the song before and the Beatles did. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> you know, he said, I'll be there. He also said, I'll be back. <laughs> now, you know, now you know where the Beatles got it from, okay? <laughs> Jesus says, call on me and I'll be there. Amen. <laughs> Above all things, it says, uh, confess his word. Mm -hmm. And also, another thing we just went through is uh, if you have the word of God in you, whose report are you going to believe? Yeah. Are you going to believe the report of the world? Or are you going to believe the report of what God yeah. says? Yeah. Are you going to believe what the word of God says? You got a good report and a bad report. Yeah. So who's are you going to walk uh -huh. by? Who's are you going to believe? I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. You know, if, if you're marching, if you have marching orders and you're marching for Jesus, mm -hmm. you're going to believe the report of the Lord. Yeah. And you're going to keep on pressing on. Amen? Yeah. Don't let these negative things stop you. I'm not accepting no bad reports, no matter what they say. Okay? Yeah. I'm going to press on. You know, Jesus came as a child, born as a child, and he knew his mission. And he knew he was going to be sacrificed. Mm -hmm. But he didn't let anything stop it. Amen. They welcomed him one week. <laughs> As a king, the next week, they're crucifying him. Mm -hmm. Didn't stop it. That's right. They beat him. Mm -hmm. Didn't stop him. Right. Until he completed his mission when he told his father, forgive him. Mm -hmm. Amen. He surrendered himself to his father. He offered himself back to the father. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we need to do the same. We need to confess the word. Walk in faith. Amen. Yeah, yeah, and says, yeah. I can do all things through Christ. Confess yeah. his word. Amen. Yeah. I can do all things through Christ. Amen. Praise yeah. God. So you can follow the bad report or the good report. Yeah. You, even, yeah. the, even the word of God we talked about last week. Yeah. 
Proverbs 18, 21, it says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Be careful what report you give. Amen. Amen. Give a good report. Don't give a bad report. Amen. Right. <laughs> Don't put somebody down. Pick somebody up. Uh -huh. You know, we're so good at pushing people down. Oh, it's time we change that. Mm -hmm. You know, help somebody up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus is in the raising, ri rise business or raising business. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the <laughs> pushing down business. Amen. Amen. So we want to raise them up. Amen. For God so loved the world. Amen. So that person you're trying to put down is also a child of God. That person. So watch your words, watch your actions, because you could make have that person come to Christ. All they all they need to do is watch your words, your actions, and see you. And you're the greatest example they see. You're the greatest Bible they'll ever see. Uh -huh. Amen. So it's not just about these. Uh, church is not just as four walls. You know, church is when you walk out of these four Amen. walls. Amen. Yeah. Now you're a child of God. Now you, you're going somewhere to happen. The gospel on wheels. The gospel yeah. walking somewhere. <laughs> 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 Amen. So you're confessing the word and you're helping people. The love, compassion of God just flowing out of you. Amen. Say, wow, you know, I mean, so many bad things going on around and you're so happy. I, I want some of what you got. What is it you got? I've got Jesus. And you can have him too. Amen. Yeah. And you can lead him to Christ right then. But you're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever come close to. Mm -hmm. Just remember that before you go pushing somebody away. Mm -hmm. Amen. You represent him. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. That's for somebody. I don't know. Somebody needed that. So you got it. <laughs> <laughs> and you know sometimes when you get the word in you, you still have doubts if I can say anything. Well, you can. And we got so many examples, so many Bible heroes, mm -hmm. you know, that know they could do it, but they did. All you have to do is get it in you and confess it. And the moment's going to come when you have that moment where you're going to confess the word. Mm -hmm. anyway. And you surprise yourself because you, you'll say, I didn't know that come out of me. Mm -hmm. It was in there. There's a deposit in there. You got to deposit that word in you. Mm -hmm. And then you can draw from it. Amen. Yeah. It says, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. I'm excited. I don't know about you. <laughs> Emotions can run very high and even paralyzing at some points. A loss of strength, loss of control can happen due to carrying these situations. Those extra cares, those extra weights around with you. You have to be careful. And we're familiar with... Uh, let me see what scripture is coming up. Next one. Next one. There we go. We've been going through a lot of this, so <laughs> you know you get bombarded with negative. It's time. These scriptures are just pounding on you. Mm. Are these scriptures just coming on you? You know, we gotta learn this. Amen. Sometimes <laughs> you hear scripture so many times. It don't mean much to you until, guess what, graduation comes. Yeah. <laughs> it says, wow, I never saw it like that before. Mm -hmm. Lord, open your word to me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Revelation. He said, wow, I never saw it like that before. Every time we're maturing in the things of God. We're maturing in the word of God. That's why we deposit, we study. Amen. And all of a sudden it says, wow, you know what? I've been trying to do it all by myself. Or I've been just giving God a little bit. Or I'm just holding on to what I can handle and giving God some hard things, you know. Mm -hmm. No, he says, let's, let's read it. It says, well, the Amplified says, cast all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, and all your concerns once and for all. He's telling us, <laughs> do it. It's time to do it. Yeah. Why are you still holding on to it? For he cares about you with deepest affection and watches over you very carefully. Amen. Amen. But he says, when, when he says cast, that means give it, cast it, throw it, and, and leave it there. He says all means what? All. All, <laughs> all means everything. Oh. <laughs> and that didn't, that didn't mean you keep some. <laughs> he said, give it all to me. Mm -hmm. You know, if I, if I want you to go, he said, go and share it with the world my word, the gospel, he don't want you to be worried about all these cares, all these anxieties. Right. Amen. Amen. He wants you to be free from them. Amen. 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 So you can go out there and just freely give 
Amen. What God has in you. You know, uh, fear is going to try to jump on you. And all of his buddies is going to try to jump on you and say, you can't do that. You know, all the Bible heroes have to go through this. So guess what? You're going to go through it also. Amen. Say, well, you can't do it. You're nobody. You're no good. You hurt this all your life. But it's time to step out. Say, Jesus is with me. He says, I can do all things through him. So you're going to step out and you're going to do what God is wanting you to do. Amen. He's called you. He's anointed you. And he's qualified you. Quit looking for the world or anybody else. Your brothers yeah. to, to say, you, you can do it. No, Jesus says you can do it all things through me. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. This one says, cast all your worries on him because he cares for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Keep going. Philippians 4, 6, and 7 says, be anxious for what? Nothing. For nothing. Amen. But he says, be anxious about anything, mm -hmm. but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understandings, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. The enemy, the battlefield of the mind. <laughs> if you don't clear it, if you don't renew your mind with the word of God, guess what? The world, the enemy, the devil, he's going to see to it that you're going to, your mind is all clogged up. Yeah. Amen. He's going to use whatever it takes. Amen. The Bible says in John 10, 10, the enemy, the devil comes only but to steal and to kill and to destroy. And that's what he wants to do with you. And it's a spiritual battle that you cannot win unless you use the word of God. Amen. Remember, Jesus has already defeated him. He's yeah. a defeated foe. But you have to use the word and you have to use your authority. If you don't use your authority, you lose. Amen. And it's not his fault. Amen. It's us because we're not doing it the way he told us to. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Oh, well, this is another one. This is just a freebie. Yeah. <laughs> Psalm 55 and 2 says what? Cast your burden. We used to sing this song all the time. Cast your burden on Jesus. Cast your burden on the Lord and he shall what? Sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Amen. Cast your burden on Jesus because he cares for you. Amen. But you got to give it to him. And you know what? He wants it. If, <laughs> I want them tacos. <laughs> and guess what? <laughs> I want them now. <laughs> Amen. John 16, 33. We talked about here a few minutes ago. But the King James, it's in there. Go to the next one, Carl. Here we go. No. This is, well, this, just leave it right there. <clears throat> it says, come to me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you what? Rest. Rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Amen. Amen. You know, sometimes you hear this a lot. I tried Jesus. I tried. That's what we do in the world. We try a whole lot of stuff. And I tried Jesus, and it's not for me. I tried Jesus, and I don't get anything. You know, well, it's not about the trying. It's about the relationship. Yeah. You just got to take it all. Amen. You just got to take it all, receive him, and dive in, and just trust him. Amen. And accept him, and surrender yourself, and commit to fulfilling what he's called you to do. Amen. Keep going, Kurt. Okay, leave it right there. Anyway, uh, if you open your Bibles, I want to read this one to you. Open your Bibles to the book of John, uh, John 16, chapter 16, and verses, verse 33. I'm going to read it to you from a couple of translations here. John 16, and verse 33. Mine's in red, I don't know about yours. John 16, chapter 16, verse 33. It says, These things I have spoken unto you, that ye might have peace. In this world you will have tribulation. Yeah. But be of good cheer. I have 
overcome the world. The Amplified says, I have told you these things so that in me, in capital letters, in me, you will have perfect peace and confidence. Mm. Okay? So we're trying to find this peace in other things. Mm. Can't find it in people. Can't find it in booze, <laughs> drugs, or any other thing. Mm. Okay? It says, in me, you will have perfect peace. You might have some kind of peace, but you ain't going to have that perfect peace. Not only that, but the Bible says that he is the prince of peace. Mm -hmm. We're not going to have perfect peace until the prince of peace mm -hmm. is come. Amen? Amen. In the world, you will have tribulations and trials and distress and frustrations. Sounds familiar? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds very familiar. Mm -hmm. But be of good cheer. Take courage. Be confident. Certain. Undaunted. Mm -hmm. For I have overcome the world. I have deprived it of its power mm -hmm. to harm you and have conquered it for you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Says to be of good cheer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> be a, a cheerful Christian. Mm. Don't be a sad Christian. Mm. Don't be a defeated Christian. Mm. Be a cheerful. The Bible says that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yeah. Be yeah. a joy, joyful. Amen. When people see you being joyful in the things of God, they want what you've got. Mm. You know, you go around with a frown on your face all the time, you can be a Christian all you want to. You ain't gonna win nobody for God. You may be a matter of fact, people are gonna run from you. <laughs> I don't wanna be around you. Uh -huh. Amen? So, it says, be of good cheer. Yeah. <laughs> so let Amen. the joy let the joy of the Lord be uh -huh. your strength. Amen? <laughs> oh, praise God, we're getting there. It says, <clears throat> Somebody needs this, okay? It says, let go and let God. Uh -huh. Okay? If you're going to give it to him, if you're going to cast it on him, let it go and let God. Amen? <laughs> Everybody knows this, but guess what? They don't do it. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> I've been trying to clean my closet in there. <laughs> See, well, I still need that. I still need that. I can't fit that, but uh, I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. Come on, man. I know that. <laughs> I'm working on it, okay? Uh, so, yeah. guess what? I tried to clean my closet, and it's just the same. <laughs> Matter of fact, I added a few more things. <laughs> you better be careful because that bar is just going down like that, too. <laughs> That's us, you know? If we don't cast it on him, guess what? Uh -huh. <laughs> We're just going to go down. And he don't want us to be there. He don't want us to be all bogged down. We're going to read about it in a few minutes. He, you know, let the weights of this world weigh you down. No. He wants us to yeah, give yeah. it up, cast it on him. Lighten yourself up. <laughs> Says, <clears throat> let go and let God. If God has told you to put them down, don't pick them up again. Don't take them back. Those uh -huh. sins, those cares, those problems, those troubles, the bad habits, the bad company. Says, let go and let God. Yeah, what he's taken, let go. <laughs> Don't take it back. Well, you know, I might need it. <laughs> uh, mm. I know. Mm -hmm. Nobody's ever done that but me. And you. <laughs> let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Mm. <clears throat> let your smile change the world. But yeah. don't let the world change your smile. Oh, Amen. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Because, you know, you can go out there and see something. <laughs> mm. Road rages. Hard, and you know, uh, you can go anywhere and do anything, and somebody's gonna cut you off for no reason. I was minding my own business, but somebody's gonna get in your business all the time, yeah. amen. <laughs> and they're gonna try to change that smile and get that smile off your face. They'll just walk up to you and say, You know, what's so funny? You know, you know what's happening right now, you know, the way the world is right now, and they'll just want you to change that smile. Yeah, yeah, I say, uh -uh. I'm not changing my smile for nobody. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Here we go. Hebrews 12, 1 and 2 of the NIV says what? Well, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, yeah. let us throw off. Let us, see it says throw off, not just uh -huh. lay it down. Uh -huh. I said, you know, I'm going to lay it down in case I need it back, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> it says, let us throw off everything uh -huh. that hinders 
and the sin that so easily entangled and let us run with perseverance the race that marked out for us. If you're going to run a race, uh -huh. <laughs> you want to be light. I guarantee you, I've ran track before and I jog all the time. <laughs> you don't want extra weight on you. Amen. Amen. You want to be light. He's telling us, get rid of it. Amen. <laughs> and verse 2 says, let us fix our eyes on what? On Jesus. Not on the world. Let's fix our eyes on Jesus. You know, yes. Him first. He's our first priority. Yes. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and protector of our faith. Perfect. Who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorned it, shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. At the right hand is a place of authority. He's and he's there sitting, interceding for us. Amen? Amen. Let, me, Amen. Let, me I have, <clears throat> let me read it to you from the Amplified. Jesus, our greatest example. Therefore, since we are all surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses who by faith have testified to the truth of God, absolute, absolute faithfulness, stripping off every unnecessary weight of sin, of the sin which so easily and cleverly entangles us. Let us run with endurance, determination, the race that is set before us. So we don't press on. Looking away, verse 2, looking away from all the distract, all that will distract us, much distractions. Focusing our eyes on Jesus, who is the author and perfecter of our faith. The first incentive of our belief and the one who brings our faith to maturity. Who for the joy of accomplishing the goal set before him endured the cross, disregarding the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God, revealing his deity, his authority, interceding for us, and completion of his work. Amen. Amen. This is awesome, you know. Amen. And he says we can do all things through him. We can do all. We can do it all, you know. Yes. And he wants us to do the same thing. What I did, you can do. Amen. He's our greatest example. Amen. So, <laughs> I just caught myself. Anyway, he wants you to press on. Amen. Just do and fulfill the mission that he's given you to do. And you can do it. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Uh, Hebrews 13, 5 and 6. I'll read a few more scriptures and then we're going to close. Amen. Amen. Just let the character uh, from the Amplified, let the let your character, your moral essence, your inner nature be free from the love of money. Shun greed and fi uh, financially ethical. Being confident, being content with what you have. For he said, I will never under any circumstances desert you, nor give you up, nor leave you without support, nor will I in any degree leave you helpless nor will I forsake or let you down or relax my hold on you. Uh, surely not. So we must take comfort and we are encouraged and confidently say, the Lord is my helper in time of need. I will not be afraid. What will man do to me? Yes. <clears throat> King James says he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Right. So if you know this, as a child of God, know that don't say, well, as a child of God, don't say, well, I'm doing this by myself, because you're not. He says he's with you, he'll fight with you, he'll fight for you, but he'll never leave you, he'll forsake you. He's always with you. Know that. And the enemy knows that when you know this, you'll step out in faith, you'll step out, of, when you step out in faith, you step out in authority. Yeah. And then you step out in authority, and the enemy knows and he, he, he says when you submit yourself to God, you resist the devil, and he's going to yeah. flee from it. Amen. I'm stepping out of the devil. I'm, I'm giving you notice right now. I'm going to walk out that door, <laughs> so I'm letting you know. And I'm going to step out in faith. I'm going to step out in authority. And I'm looking for you. Amen. Amen. There's giants out there that you need to go and, and take down. Amen. Amen. There's giants out there waiting on you. Praise God. And I'll give you this one, and then we're going to close. This is all the more that we seek only the true and living God. Matthew 6, 33 says, But seek first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, it's in it. Let me read it. It says, Matthew 6, 33 and 34. Seek 
the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. 34 says, and don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Yeah. Today's trouble is enough for today. New Living Translation. Right. Amen. That's a different translation. Once in a while when I'm doing a study, I go through different translations and just see what, what it says. I know what the word, what uh, King James says. But I'm looking at the other translations and see what they say. It says, don't worry about tomorrow. Amen. How many of us do that? Mm -hmm. You know, what's, what's tomorrow going to bring? Mm -hmm. Man, let it go. <laughs> because tomorrow's got enough worries. Now you got enough worries for today. Now you're bringing in tomorrow's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're bringing in the future's right. worries. <laughs> and, and you're a mess. Amen. So say, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm just going to cast it on you, Lord. I'm giving it all to you. And some of you, one of those that are watching, some of you that are listening, <clears throat> you know you need to do this. Just give it up. Amen. Just give it to him and cast it on him because he cares for you. Amen. Yeah. He cares for you. You're somebody special. Don't let the world tell you. Don't, don't let nobody else tell you that you're no good. Mm -hmm. Even if they've said it before, let it go. That's in the past. Now you're a child of God. You're a new thing. Old, thi uh, old things are out, new things are in. And the new thing is, you're a child of God, and you're somebody. You need to know yeah. this, so that you can be strong in Him, mm -hmm. and not let the world, and not let people, or anybody else put you down. Mm -hmm. Amen? Say, wait a minute, I'm a child of God, and I can do all things through Christ. I'm a champion, I'm a winner, and I'm pressing on with the things of God. Amen? Amen. So praise God, I hope that blessed you, it blessed me. You can't see, but uh, bless my socks off. <laughs> and it blessed all my cares off. Amen. That's what we need to do is bless all those cares on him. Maybe that's another word you need to add on there. It said cast them all on him. But we need to bless them all on him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so praise God. <clears throat> so in closing. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I like that. Amen. We're to be strong in him. Amen. That's all I'm going to say. Be above all. Amen. And what the song says is Jesus now more than ever. Mm -hmm. We need Jesus now more than ever. Amen. But you're part of it. You're a part of it. You're a part of the body of Christ. And you, you're special. And we need you, Jesus now more than ever. And you're bringing Jesus to somebody. Amen. Maybe the world don't know, doesn't, doesn't have the answers. Jesus does. Yes. Amen. The word of God does. And we need him now more than ever. We need peace. Amen. We need peace and we need his love. And we need his compassion right now. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Amen. So let's pray. Father, we just thank you <coughs> for your word. Yes. Thank you that we're here to endure us of your word, Lord. Bless your people. Those that are watching, those that are listening, Father God. Whatever the situation may be, if you never have Jesus in your heart, now's the time. Amen. You have an opportunity. Just say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. Amen. I repent of my sins. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. And he won't turn you down. He's just going to put you to work. Say, hey, get up. You're my child. Press on with the things of God. Don't let the weights of this world, don't let the past hold you back. Press on with me. Amen. And start work. Start, start learning. And start maturing in his word. And press on. Amen. 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 Praise God. If you have sickness in your body. Bible says to buy Jesus Christ to heal. Amen. Who's report you don't believe? What the doctor says. Well, I'm standing on the word. I'm standing on the word of God. I thank you, Father. By Jesus Christ, I'm healed. No coronavirus is gonna come and interfere yeah. in my life. Amen. No sickness, no disease, whatever it is that's interfering in your life. Father, we just thank you that by Jesus Christ they're healed. Hallelujah. By the line up with the word of God and receive your healing right now. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Woo! I'm glory. Bless, bless, bless. <laughs> Praise God. So we're going to give you an opportunity. It's time to give. If you're watching or listening, you just watch the screen there. It tells you <laughs> the website, MAC, uh, BigBen.com. Donate button. Just hit it. If you're mailing it, MBC, PO Box 252, Martha, Texas. Again, we th want to thank you. And... Um, just let you know how much we care, how much we, we love you. Amen. Amen. So praise God. God's best to you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Stretch your hand out.
Let's release our faith. Father, we just thank you for the opportunity to give. Yes, God. Lord. Thank you for the gift and the giver, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Open the windows of heaven and pour the blessing that he would contain, Father God. And we thank you for rebuking the devourer for their sake. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.